Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and we've got some big breaking news. Pot stocks surge as midterms show growing optimism to legalize in the United States. Shares of cannabis stocks surged in early trading Wednesday after three U.S. states voted to loosen the use of recreational and medical marijuana amid growing optimism the country will soon pass measures to federally legalize pots. <laughs> this is huge news. With most polls reporting following Tuesday's U.S. midterm elections, Michigan residents voted in favor of legalizing recreational cannabis for anyone 21 years old or older in the state, while voters in Missouri and Utah both approved ballot measures to allow the sale of medical marijuana. A ballot measure to legalize recreational use of cannabis in North Dakota failed. So unfortunately, North Dakota did fail. Michigan would be the first U.S. Midwestern state and the second largest behind California. Wow! The second largest in America to allow its residents to purchase and consume recreational cannabis legally. The state's cannabis market is estimated to be, this is an enormous number, $1.3 billion by 2022, according to ArcView Market Research. The election results boosted U.S. and Canadian pot stocks with Tilray, T-L-R-Y, jumping 6.3% in early Wednesday trading, while Aurora Cannabis Inc., ACB.TO, was up 2.47%, uh, and Canopy Growth, 0.66%, advanced by 2.1%. U.S. pot producers Medman Enterprises, Cureleaf, and Ianthus Capital Holdings, IN, all rose 5.3%, 1.3% and 1.6% respectively. With the Democrats winning a majority in the House of Representatives as well as several key governor races in some U.S. states, Connecticut, Illinois, New York, and Rhode Island are all on track to legalize cannabis in the future as well as efforts to move federally on the issue, according to Vivian Ezer, cannabis analyst at Cowan and Company. While we do not see a path forward in the Senate, the House is a different story. The GOP roadblocks to legislation are gone. As I wrote in a report published on Wednesday, the House Democratic leader understands that these bills are dead on arrival in the Senate, yet they will pass them to send a message to cannabis advocates. The Democrat win in the House also increased the likelihood of the Farm Bill or the state's act passing, which would permit Canadian pot producers to enter the U.S. market, <laughs> according to BMO Capital Markets. That is huge. Reaction from U.S. pot company executives was mostly positive for a market that could be worth as much as $75 billion with a B by 2030, according to an estimate from Cowan and Company. Utah is one of the reddest states in the country, and Senator Orrin Hatch is one of the most conservative guys out there. To pass this initiative and create a legal medic medical marijuana program in Utah, it's a as jarring as seeing Mother Teresa show up at a casino. Wow, this is huge news, said Hadley Ford, chief executive officer at Ianthus Capital, in an email to B&M Bloomberg. It's clear an overwhelming majority of Americans across both parties accept cannabis as a medical product. And we should expect to see some sort of program in every state now that Utah has come online. Karam Malik, chief executive officer of Biome Grow Inc., a Canadian cannabis producer, said that the U.S. midterm results could see President Donald Trump pivot to pro-cannabis agenda to win support from younger voting blocs that would typically only cast their ballots in presidential elections. This is something that your boy predicted a long time ago. Using the cannabis as a form to win the vote. The president doesn't have an ideology beyond self-preservation and getting re-elected. And if the math makes sense, he may drop some strong hints on the campaign trail that the legalization of recreational cannabis at the federal level will happen if he wins in 2020, Malik said in an email to BNN Bloomberg. It will be based on the economic stimulus platform, particularly in the most economic depressed regions where he is the strongest. What do you think about this news? Please smash the like button.
comment down below, share the video everywhere. This news is trending. This news is being circulated. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence. Do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Now, what is happening in the cannabis stocks right now? You can see we are having a lot of green, okay? And a lot of it is due to the fact that they are legalizing in these new states in America, specifically Michigan. And you can see, look at all the green. Green across the board. If you're not winning, you're not watching. It's true. This is your boy Rich. And I'm out.